keiner weiß, wie weit wir kommen. Keiner kennt den besten Weg. Die sich nach vorne noch verschwommen. Niemand da, der uns verrät, wie es geht. Doch ich weiß, es wird schon gehen, solange die Welt sich weiter dreht. Denn wir sind frei und können alles sein. Ja, ich weiß nicht mehr lang, dann fängt das Beste gerade erst an. Denn wir sind frei. If you want to interpret the gospel just read, you will readily say, the kingdom of heaven is the pearl, the kingdom of heaven is the treasure, and the finder is me. And therefore, I must do something. I must give up something in order to gain the treasure or to gain the pearl. What if you are wrong? What if you misinterpreted it? Ang ibig kong sabihin ay ganito. Eh ano kaya kung ikaw pala yung hidden treasure? Eh ano pala kung ikaw pala yung perlas na napakamahal? Ikaw. Hindi yung kaharian ng Diyos. Ikaw. Sino yung nakakita? Sino yung nagbenta? Sino yung bumili para makuha yung kayamanang natagpuan? Ang sagot, si Jesus. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, bawat isa sa atin ay kayamanang natuklasan ni Jesus. Bawat isa. Walang isang tao dito sa mundo na hindi itinuturing ng Diyos na kayamanan ng kanyang puso. Walang iba. Maaring anim na bilyon ang tao, anim na bilyon ang uri ng pagmamahal ng Diyos sa bawat isang tao na namumuhay dito sa mundo. And what did God do? God exchanged everything to gain you to Himself. Natandaan po ninyo yung salitang moonstruck. Ang moonstruck ay superstitious belief sa Europa. Ganito ho ang paniniwala nila. Nakapag ikaw binata, ay natulog sa ilalim ng kabilugan ng buwan. Pag nasinagan ka ng sikat ng buwan, mababaliw ka. Pero hindi doon natatapos yung pamahiin. Kasi ang paniniwala ay kapag yung binata natulog sa ilalim ng sikat ng buwan, kabilugan ng buwan, paggising niya, ang unang babae na makita niya ay hindi niya titigilan, hindi niya titigilan ng panliligaw hanggang mapasagot niya at hanggang mapakasal siya. Kaya ang ibig sabihin ng moonstruck, wala nang katwisa, katwiran, parang nawala sa huwisyo, parang nawala sa isip, basta na love at first sight, na sinaga ng kabilugan ng buwan, unang babaeng makita ay kanyang liligawan at hindi iiwanan. Kaya yung kabilugan ng buwan ay paborito ng mga matatandang dalaga. Kasi kapag yung binata ay ikaw yung unang nakita, kahit 80 anyos ka na nun, sinuswerte ka pa rin. Moonstruck. Love without reason, 
Love without logic. Love without explanation. Love for the sake of love. Itong ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, para bagang natulog sa ilalim ng sikat ng kabilogan ng buwan. At nang madilat siya, nakita niya ang bawat isa sa atin. Abandoning all logic, abandoning all reason, abandoning practicality, He fell in love with you. And falling in love with you, sold everything, including His life, in order to win you. That is how loved you are. And my dear Christian, my dear brother, my dear sister, you will never completely understand how much God loves you. Because if you would understand, you would die. Because your head is too small, your heart is too small, to contain the immensity of God's love for you. You are loved, and Jesus sold everything, gave up everything to gain the pearl of great price. And you are His pearl of great price. You are the hidden treasure that He discovered. Kung ganun po, na minahal ako ng Diyos, ano ang dapat kong gawin? What must I do? What must I give? What must I pay for? And the answer is, nothing. You do not have to do anything. You do not have to give anything. You do not have to have anything. Totoo? Totoo po. Iisa lamang ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa atin. Be who you are. In other words, the price of the kingdom is not to do, is not to have, is not to give. The price of the kingdom is simply to be. Anong ibig sabihin ng to be? If you have really fallen in love with God and you're so convinced that God loves you, be aware of your dignity. And what is my dignity? What is my identity? I am a child of God. Yon ang aking ID. If you are a child of God, why are you lying? If you are a child of God, why are you stealing? If you are a child of God, why do you do impurities to your body? If you are a child of God, why are you cheating your spouse? If you are a child of God, why are you answering your parents back without respect? If you are a child of God, why are you cursing? If you are a child of God, why are you killing? And if you are a child of God, why do you clap when others are killed? If you are a child of God, why are you happy to see your brothers and sisters suffering? In other words, brothers and sisters, Christianity is not about what we must do. Christianity is about who you are. And if you only live according to your identity as a child of God, you will find that Christianity is easy. It is not a heavy burden. Because evangelization, Christianity, is not about telling people what to do. Christianity, evangelization, is telling people what God has done for us. What has God done for you? He has sold everything to gain you back. He has sold everything to buy you back. And you do not have to do anything anymore. You do not have to give anything. Just be who you are. Live like a child of God. Talk like a child of God. Think like a child of God. Live like a child of God. And that is all that is being asked of us. 
napakadali pero napakahirap kasi itinatago natin yung ating pagiging anak ng Diyos. Ayaw nating panindigan kasi baka malugi ang negosyo, baka matalo sa eleksyon, baka umabalan ako ng kaibigan. But you are a child of God. That is your identity. And if you would be unfaithful to that identity, no matter what you do, no matter what you give to the church, everything would be empty because you have forgotten who you are. Who are you? I am God's child. Who are you? I am a saint because my Father in heaven is the God of all holiness. Das Bett.